Hey, I just want to say thank you to all those lovely people who watched my 230 view short video. And I just want to say thank you also to 22 subscribers. Wow, I can't believe it. All right, and our next goal before we reach the big mark, which is 100, we got to reach at least 40. And 40 subscribers, I think we can do it. We can do this. On this channel, we can do it. All right, let's, let's get on to the video. Hey, it's Boy Man Dude, and welcome to Top Scary Videos to Cry Yourself to Sleep to. Now, I'm not sure if I'm really going to cry myself to sleep after watching these videos, but I really hope, because I like getting scared. I love getting scared. Believe it or not, I do love getting scared. And if this is going to make me squeak, and if this video makes me just crap all over the floor from being too scared, I want to watch it. I want to watch it, because I love those kind of videos. I love that kind of content, man. Alright, let's get into it. Urban explorers from the YouTube channel Urbex Castronautica visit the historic La Plata Cemetery in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The cemetery was built in go. 1886 and is the final resting place of many notable figures. Right. But while wandering through the huge cemetery's 12,000 tombs and vaults, the guys stumble upon a crypt that has been vandalized. Their camera. And remember that video? I said that the most scariest ghost views always come from at least South America or Japan. Either one of them are very scary, like very scary. And I hope this is scary too. To capture one. something downright chilling. What is that? Is that a crypt? Oh my goodness. No. Bro, did they, did, they, did they just find a secret tomb? Like, what did they just discover? Or how long has it been there? That, that's the big part. And why is it there? That's that's what I want to know. Did you see it? What? No? Well, neither did the guys who filmed it. You see, after posting this video to YouTube, their sharp-eyed viewers were freaked out when they noticed a creepy little pale hand pulling back into an open coffin. No, I did not. it happened so quick that it's hard to see without brightening the footage and analyzing it frame by no. frame. But when the footage is converted to a negative image, the spooky little hand is a bit easier to see. Yeah. Now, it's very unlikely that anyone could have crawled into that coffin to fake this. This crypt is very old and unstable, and it would be very dangerous for someone to just climb inside. So did this group of urban explorers accidentally capture proof of the paranormal? Well, as usual. I think they're messing with forces beyond their understanding. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm just a 20 year old kid. I don't know what, what goes on, how the world works or why spirits are here like this. I don't know. But I heard, when I watch these videos, I hope to learn something. Like, why do these ghosts stay when they die? Like, do they, are they given an option to stay? Or do, do they have to stay there unless they know something? And they, Or they have unfinished business, some people would say. Um, I don't know. Well, I just hope to... Yeah. Well, well, you decide. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Castronautica trapped. In this next video, a man is taking a short video of a car that he's planning to sell. The vehicle belonged to his sister, who tragically passed away right inside the car over a year and a half ago. After sending the footage to a potential buyer, he gets an alarming... I'm so sorry about your loss, man. I really am. I'm very sorry about your loss. ...message saying he should really check the video closer. Hey, man. Here's this, uh, here's my sister's car. Just wanted to make this video so you could have a look at it. She still runs good. Uh, she's a little dirty. She has a lot of miles on her. But uh, it can clean up nice. Here's the front. And a little back. 
There's some in the back. Oh my god. But I don't know uh, if you're interested, just uh, let me know what you think. Throughout the footage, the faint sound of a woman crying can be heard. The video was shared online by Dee's Dark Adventures and quickly gained nearly 500,000 views. In the video comments, many concerned viewers believe that the voice belongs to the spirit of the man's sister who passed away inside the car and that her soul is still trapped, unable to move on. Motorcycle Mystery In the city of Cagayan de Oro in the Philippines, a motorcycle rider is driving down a busy road that is notorious for being the site of many fatal accidents. He is about to experience something that is truly Bizarre. Oh, oh my God! I I just noticed it too. Someone appears to jump right into the motorcycle. Path. But did you did you see it disappear when it got close? Or was that just just how my eyes work? I don't. But when the rider looks, yeah, back, it disappears when the when the light no almost there. It disappears. But it gets even weirder because the motorcycle rider claims that whoever this was, they didn't appear to have a face, only a strange dark blur. Now many locals believe that the rider saw the ghost of someone who passed away on the dangerous road. But mm. if this wasn't anything supernatural, then just what happened here? What what sells it for me is when this Let happens. Me know what you think? It disappears when the light almost gets off it. That, that that sells it for me. Open house. Ready user slash realtor Sandra is recording a tour of a 1960s bungalow style home to show prospective buyers. Sandra's filming at night in order to showcase the house's interior lighting, but it's starting to get a bit late at the creepy little cottage. And things are about to get weird. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this beautiful vintage 1962. Hey, that's what I do sometimes. Uh, I you, sometimes I'll even show it like before I start recording, but sometimes I don't have a script. I don't go on script. I don't like scripts. Scripts are not my thing. I just say what I want to say, and if I mess up, I'll just I don't know, cut that out or something. That out. you know what I mean. But even I do that. Like I just want to say that. Ma'am, your pizza's here. <laughs> that was stupid. I'm sorry. That was that was the most stupidest thing I could have said. <laughs> that was so stupid of me. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Yeah, she's, dude, she's speechless. She's speechless. She don't know what the heck just happened. Was there a draft or something? Like, I don't see. No, it's in the hallway. Well, hmm. Open this door. I don't know. I don't know. Go ahead, open this door. 
Open this door like you do the other one. This don't this lady right here sounds like this ain't her first rodeo when it comes to dealing with the unknown. You know what I mean? Like she already adapted saying, like, can you do this again, please? Like I I'd say hmm. I wonder what else she's done. Just move a glass or something. It's nothing. Never mind. I thought it was something. Never mind. Go ahead, do it again. I'm not scared. What is that beeping? Better get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's right. Run. Run. I mean, realistically, what are you going to do to fight a ghost besides, like... Like, seriously, how do you fight a ghost? You can't see it. You can't touch it. And it can touch you. And, I mean, what else do you do? You can't fight it. So what else do you got? What choice you got? You know what I mean? A door suddenly swings open on its own and Sandra is spooked. But she gathers her courage and rushes out to see what's going on. A glass of water sitting on top of the fireplace oh, it was shifts moving. and slowly okay. moves as if it's being pushed by some invisible force. But things get even crazier as a smoke detector suddenly starts to beep before crashing violently to the floor. With that, Sandra has had enough and just gets out of there. But there's also something else that is very creepy in this video. Something that only a few viewers That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, did I miss something? So again, I ask, did you see it? Right before the door moves, a face in the picture right beside Sandra seems to slowly darken. Oh, I didn't notice that. the little shadow fades away just as the door swings open. Sandra says that she's experienced several unexplained paranormal events in this home. But this was the first time that she finally captured it on camera. Hmm. We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Flicker. Reddit user Cybseb says that his mother is taking care of a young foster child at her home in England. One night, a TV is playing a cartoon in the child's bedroom. But the flickering light from the screen reveals something that the Reddit user and his mom simply can't explain. Something that is downright creepy. Uh oh. Oh my god. Someone seems to be seated in the chair. A small pale face illuminates in the flashing light from the TV screen. Oh my god, it has no eyes. It has no eyes. I didn't even notice it. It doesn't have any eyes. Bruh. I, bruh, I'm speechless. I, I don't even know what I would do. Then the face just disappears. Reddit user Cybseb wonders if his mother's security camera accidentally captured a paranormal presence. But... What do you if think? If it's not a paranormal presence, then what would it be? You know what I mean? Like, is it a camera glitch or something? Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. This is the Fond du Lac UFO. Around 2 a.m., Florissa Bonnelet and her family friends are driving home to Fond du Lac, Saskatchewan, Canada. Suddenly, Florissa spots something very odd in the night sky. It's no, what? It looks like a UFO, right? That's a UFO. Focus on it. I can barely see you shaking the, the disc. What are you doing? 
Are you Please just point, point yeah. zoom at it or something. <gasps> That's a UFO. You can just see it. Bro, that is, if it was a bro, if like if it was a plane, it would have had a blinking light on it. But there's no blinking lights. Plus, it's in the it's in the hovering in the air, like it, like no nothing. Or I'll hide, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, bro, you can just see it. it's like the rocket. Just keep recording it. Oh, yeah, try and get a better view. Oh no, okay, not. Everyone is shocked as they witness a strange circular object with flashing lights soaring through the sky. Clarissa's mother posted the video to Facebook and friends and local residents immediately began to respond that they too have seen the strange UFO. Eyewitness reports in the thread. Yo, the government being doing a lot of weird shit lately. <laughs> I'm joking, but still. Actually, I'm not joking. I'm gonna cut this all out. <laughs> I, I don't need all of this. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Go all the way back to January 1990. So just what could this mysterious flying object be? Let me know what you like, think. Like I said, if it was a plane, it would have been blinking like this. And it's flashing, but it's not blinking. That's a different. There's a difference. Down in the comments. Follower. Nick Perry says that late one night he was driving she down the allegedly haunted Dyers Lane Road in Roseville, California. He says that he saw an ominous dark shadow figure appear in the middle of the road. Nick believes that this dark entity followed him home and says that he now experiences terrifying paranormal activity. So back in 2020... Why does he have a rattle me bones skeleton just casually in the room? <laughs> Too, I shared Nick's story on Nuke's Top 5, along with some of the scary footage that he had captured. He's making a beat. To make a beat out of this. That would be awesome if he made a beat out of that. Two years since those videos okay, were recorded, actually was a little creepy, Perry has moved lie. to a new house in a new city, but he oh, believes that, that the dark entity has followed him. I just got home, and uh, as I was walking in, I heard some banging noises in here. Look, th so, yeah, there's another rattle me bone skeleton. <laughs> Why does he have skeletons? He has another one on the left. I didn't even see the one on the left. Why you got just random skeletons around your house? That's why I'm setting up the camera right now to find out who the f*** it is. Max! Shut up! Get nobody here. Get nobody here. Get nobody here. Get nobody here. Grab the camera, man. Come on, let's see what he got. What, what is it? The f***? It's up against the f***ing wall. Nick decides the dog's to like, leave. I don't know. <laughs> the dog's like looking at him like. <laughs> the devil camera's recording when he's away from home. When he reviews his footage, he is shocked. Okay, what we got? The ghost is just hangry, guys. He's hangry. He just wants a snack. He just wants to you know, get some meat. Bruh. No. Nick says that he's reached out to several churches and religious authorities, but no one has helped him. As of today, Nick says that he continues to experience paranormal events in and around his home. He shares his dark experiences over on his YouTube channel. Mimic. Leandro from Buenos Aires, Argentina says that he began to experience strange unexplained events only weeks after moving into his new home. He says that he would often discover that many of his belongings had been inexplicably moved into the house's bathroom. Leandro installed a security camera to see what's been going on. But late one night, he captures something more than he bargained for.
Sos hijo de puta. Leandro is completely un. I hate to say it, but I think it's too good to be true. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know about this. By the strange paranormal experience, he decides to check into the history of his new home for answers. He is horrified when he discovers that in the 1950s, a family of four passed away in a tragic fire on the very same land where his house now sits. Another night. I mean, and you Le can't lie about history. I, I know that you can't lie about history. Andro has I'm his very, friend Daniel tragic, over. Tragic. And once again, tragic. Really, it's very tragic that that happened to that poor family. I get it, but I don't know. I don't, I'm not sold. That's what I'm saying. It goes sideways. Let's go see. It doesn't really sold sell me. Oh, we got more. Okay, we got more. Whoa. A mysterious white figure can be seen passing by the window just outside uh, Leandro's home. Something and the items sitting on the nightstand get launched into the air by an invisible force. And Leandro and his friend Daniel jump up in shock. And now, this is when things get really strange. Because Leandro claims that after this incident, the spirit that haunts his house actually began to imitate or mimic the sound of his friend Daniel's voice. Son las tres de la mañana de nuevo. Y... Esto es lo que yo, con lo que yo convivo desde hace meses. I don't know. I don't know. I... Like I said, it just sounds too good to be true. Con esto yo convivo hace meses. Siempre que grabo. Vos no sos Daniel. Vos no sos Daniel, esa no es tu voz. Vos no sos Daniel, esa no es tu voz. Daniel se fue hace meses del país. Vos no sos Daniel. Si querés lastimarme, salí y lastimame ahora. Ya. Dejame de joder. Dejame de joder. If this is in South America, like I said, so anything South American is very scary. Yeah, or Japanese, you know what I mean. Leandro says that he's had more than enough of the strange supernatural activity in his new home. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You just tell me, tell me, if this is genuine, please tell me. Like, side. Footprints. A woman named Kat lives in a remote area near the woods in Pennsylvania. One freezing cold morning around 4 a.m., Kat wakes up to find a light dusting of snow covering the ground outside. But then she notices something just outside her back door. Something truly disturbing. Good morning, Come guys. on. I want to be scared. I want to be genuinely terrified. Come on. Bring it, it on. It's literally 5 a.m. Bring it on. And I opened the back door to put some dry food out for the stray kitties. And there are people feet printed all over my deck in the snow. Do you see this? They start over there. And like barefoot walks up to the table. There's nothing coming up to the... Maybe there is something coming up to the door. What? And I don't see any in the yard. What is this? I see them kind of coming out of the flower bed. They stop there. I thought maybe they would have walked off through that flower bed, but I don't see anything there. It's like one straight line from out in the yard up to the door, turned around towards the table, and then just stopped. I like the flower pot. I wish you paint toward it. That one has like... Okay, the f I just want to say... Uh, okay, I was not... 
Okay, here we go. The flower bed looks like a fidget spinner. I'm just going to point that out. I don't know why I need to point that out, but I just want to say that looks like a fidget spinner. All right. Bam. That one has like, one, two, three, four, like six toes. That's six toes. So is that one. One, two, three, four, five. It is 16 degrees out. I have not gone outside yet. My cat came and woke me up hysterical, probably because there was some barefoot person on the deck. I'm just more concerned about like a mental health crisis because. Uh, to be alarmed, sir. Uh, hold on. Not to be alarmed, ma'am. That's just the neighborhood crackhead looking for some money. I think that's There's what There's no is. reason to be out there barefoot. Now, for obvious reasons, Kat is a bit freaked out. But she's also worried that someone might be experiencing a mental health crisis and is wandering around in the freezing cold with no shoes. She calls the police, but she's reassured that no one has been reported missing or lost. And there have been no reports of trespassers or break-ins in the area. Kat is concerned, but she's done all she can, and she just lets it go. But almost two weeks later, the mysterious footprints are back. Okay, morning footprint update. I'm so <clears throat> itchy. I don't know why I'm so itchy. You. This is the first time we've had snow since the initial footprint sighting. Do you see that? They're barefoot again. They're in a different spot than Look at my shadow. So those prints are in a different spot than when we had prints before. Let's go downstairs. It is seven o'clock. I've been up since 4.30. I didn't look outside. I just came up here and then I opened the window to see if any of the stray cats were coming up to the door yet because I didn't feed them yet. What? I'm gonna stay right along the side so I don't interfere. Those are definitely very bare human feet, but there are not six toes on these that I can tell. I don't know. Though no, those are very clear toes right there. So the house next door has nobody living in it, so I'm not sure why the prince would be coming from that deck. <sighs> Happy New Year. Kat purchased two security cameras to monitor the outside of her home, but the mysterious barefoot stranger hasn't returned yet. So could this be something supernatural or is it something even scarier? A real person creeping around Kat's house in the middle of the night. Heads up, popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long uh -oh. is- Uh oh, it's, it's over there in Japan over in China. <sighs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Back. Come on. This time Give investigating an abandoned school in China that is said to be extremely haunted. As his live stream audience watches, Xiaolong begins to hear unexplained noises from somewhere in the building. He's a little on hey, edge. Hey, I don't know how true this is, but I, I heard that the Chinese believe in like cussing at evil spirits, uh, like leads them, like tells. If you, I, hold on, let me start over. I learned, or I don't know how true it is that, uh, when I heard that the Chinese people believe that being angry or showing like you're aggressive toward e evil spirits, it, it pushes them away. Like, I don't know how true it is. If if anyone who's Chinese that thinks if that's true, please let me know. I I don't know, but. Please let me know. As he goes to check out the strange sounds, what happens next is just watch. Come on, scare me. Oh, oh my God, it's a head, bro. It's a head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you got me there. <laughs> he threw it. He threw it. <laughs> but he Shallow almost had a heart attack. Of his life because of a plastic statue head. 
But luckily, Shaolong delivers a good old-fashioned slap upside the head <laughs> to put that statue back in line. But things are about to get a bit more serious. Okay, and come on. a bit more frightening. Bring it on. Come as on. Shaolong explores deeper into the haunted school, come on, evil spirit. this happens. Let's do, let's do it. Why'd you throw the ball out the window? It's probably the, the only thing that child spirit had. Come on, man. Why'd you do that? Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's he's getting angry at the spirit, like I said. Because I don't know how true it is, but that's what they do whenever they want to tell a spirit to go away. They start getting angry at it. I, that's why I don't know. Um, hmm. Ignore my phone. If you can hear my phone, ignore it. See, that, look what you did. You angered the child spirit. You angered it, man, because you threw the dang ball out the window. A small ball inside a classroom rolls across the floor by itself. So, Shaolong chucks it out a window. But then the lights hanging from the ceiling come crashing down, almost hitting Xiao Long. Now, luckily, the ghost hunter made it out safe, but he's not done just yet. All right, come Inside on, I'm ready to get school, really scared. Many rooms, he finds a dirty old mirror, and this is when his exploration takes a terrifying turn. Oh boy! The soul with him. Bro, I can't explain that. What tells me this video is his genuine reaction. Like, that's what I would do if I saw someone standing behind me and I'd know I was home alone or by myself or I don't know. I like saying I don't know, but still, I, I, that's what I would do. Just start getting freaked out. What was it going on? What's going on? What's Oh, it's still there. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Dude, did my my man over here just freaking breathing for air like it's life depends on it. Poor dude. Are you trying to piss it off? Really? Are you trying to make it angry? I'm sure it's still there. Oh, it's gone. I guess it worked. I guess cussing out an evil ghost actually works. If I ever come across a ghost, I'm just gonna give it the whoop and just ooh, like that. Ooh. 
I'm just gonna go wah, you know, boom, you know, wah. You know what I mean? I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> you Monica B. Watch, he's gonna appear right behind him now. Oh, uh huh. Mm hmm. What's home? You want higher? Look what you did. You pissed off the ghost. reflection someone can be seen standing behind Xiao Long but when he swings around in terror there's no one there after an attempt at kicking and flailing at the invisible entity Xiao Long finds that the reflection of the figure has disappeared but now he spots a shadowy face peeking in from a window and the heavy closet comes crashing down right in front of him the activity is becoming a little too intense so Xiao Long decides to leave and ends his live stream. You can see even more terrifying moments from this ghost hunt over on the YouTube channel, Outdoor Shaolong. All right. Hey, that's one of the, no, that's like, that's one of the thumbnails for one of my video. Anyway, if you like what you see, please subscribe and like the video, and I will talk to you later. And also, thank you again for the 22, over 20 subscribers. Thank you, I'll see you later.